what we call today everyday reality, which we take for normal, okay? Mm -hmm. There's war, there's terrorism, there's global warming, there's social injustice. 50% of the world lives on less than $2 a day. The environment is totally screwed up. And we say this is normal. Yeah. It's psychotic, mm -hmm. right? And it's psychotic because we have created it. I personally feel that we've lost a lot. We need to break the wiring here. So what we're saying is a little controversial. Many neurologists or neuroscientists think that the mind is created by your brain. It's not true. The mind is, uh, is an instrument that traps a relational process that's going on in the universe. You've said before that your first experience with spirituality was when you were 17, you took LSD. What is enlightenment but being one with the source? I wouldn't call them hallucinations. They help people break out of the everyday hallucination of separation and to the reality of truth. And whether they did it through wine or mana or soma, who cares? The fact is, they brought people into a reality which is much more real than the reality that causes war and terrorism and eco-destruction and social injustice and radical poverty, which are all projections of the separate mind. So while there's a lot of arrogance in science, the fact is, everything is a miracle. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. life is a total miracle. Yeah. You get it? Everything is a miracle because we haven't the foggiest idea about the things I mentioned and many more. What do you think it would take to break through that boundary at this point? I mean, here we are in this 21st Let's have a century. Party. Let's have a party. We'll bring everybody down to Peru Thank and enlighten yeah, them. Yeah, and put some in the pot and let's drink it. Amen. Amen. <laughs>